Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. Today I'd like to give a class and kind of go over a few things on uh, wills, healthcare power of attorney, uh, trusts, uh, trust for minors, and what probate is. Um, over the weekend and several times, one of the things I do with my profession is we help people with their wills, their healthcare power of attorney stuff. However, people don't understand it. So this is not a business thing. This is just me going to educate you real quick on what a will can do for you, what your healthcare power of attorney can do for you, uh, trust for minors, and what probate is. Because a lot of people do not understand. They understand what a will is. You leave your assets or something happens. But they don't understand what probate is. All right. And to me, I feel that's a big concern for a lot of people, especially if you're in Illinois, Missouri, Iowa, Indiana, that are all probate states. Uh, a lot of people, when they uh, they don't think much of what they have or if they get an accident or anything else. However, in these particular states, everything goes into probate. Now, I got the definition up on my computer over here. Probate is the court-supervised process of authenticating a last will and testament if the deceased made one. It includes locating and determining the value of the descendant's assets, paying his final bills and taxes, then distributing the remainder of the estate to his rightful heirs or beneficiaries. In other words, if you don't have a will done and everything that you own or who you are, everything will go into what's called a probate court. Without a will, the court now is in charge of all of your assets. They're in charge of any uh, money that you may have been awarded in an accidental death or something that of that nature. Probate court's going to determine to who your kids are going to go to. If family members decide to start fighting over who's who, a probate court, a judge is now in charge of all of your assets. A judge is in charge of who you are, what you're worth, what's going on. Not your, not your wife, not your kids, not your family, but a judge. A judge that is appointed by the state is now going to be in charge of your last will and testament. Uh, Sherry Sharvenly happened down in Florida. If you all remember her, her husband wanted to keep her on the feeding tubes. Her mom and dad wanted to take her off. However, without a will and without a uh, living will or power of attorney or anything else, it got tied up in court for a long period of time. Now, the husband was not wrong. Neither were the mom and dad. Both of them loved their daughter. Both of them had the best um, intent for them. But guess what? Because it, she never had a will or a last testament, they fought in court over whether or not the feeding tube should be removed or not. A lot of you know who Prince is. Prince did not have a will, yet he left behind many assets and everything else. And so it was up to the court to determine where all of Prince's belongings go his assets go you know who gets what because if there's no definite marker on how to determine on where things go the court is going to basically make that judgment call for you unless you have a last will or testament now why am i bringing this up why is this important to me today well y'all heard about the 15 marines and one corpsman which is navy that died in the plane wreck. You know, it was a refueling midair over Mississippi uh, about a week ago. Okay. There was also some Marines that got hit by lightning over in Cherry Point. There were some Army soldiers that got killed. There's a lot of training accidents that happen. I deal with a lot of truck drivers and factory workers. A lot of truck drivers on the ice and snow get killed or, you know, get put in comas. Factory workers, accidents happen every single day. However, by not having your will done, now the state and the courts are in charge of your assets. However, if you have a will done, your final will and testament done, you are in charge of all this. So the biggest point of this is, why is a will important? Why is your healthcare power of attorney important? Why are trusts important? What is the big meaning behind probate? Why do all these states go to probate? Probate is gonna take over all of your affairs and they're gonna appoint a judge if you have no proof or paperwork saying what you want done with your assets or what you want to go on with yourself, if you're in a coma, if you are dying, if something happens, you know, if you're plugged into life support, who's going to um, unplug the life support? Um, who, or who your kids are going to go to? What if you have a family member you don't want your children to go to, yet you don't, you're alive, but you're in a coma 
and you're the sole provider for those children, now the court's going to put them with a family member or a friend that are arguing out for your kids that you don't want them to go with because you don't trust them. What if there was money left behind because of a court case or what if you got an accidental death or you died on a highway or, you know, at the factory, something fell on you or you had a heart attack? You know, situations happen every single day. Uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, when we were down stationed down in Central America for a little while, um, a lot of my Marine Corps, there was a situation that happened with an Osprey. Well, several Marines died in training. OK, so it's good to have your will done. A lot of people say, oh, well, mom and dad took care of that or I did that in boot camp or, you know, I'll get one done later. Guess what? Tomorrow's not promised for you by any means. And what a will does is you fill out the will and the power of attorney and stuff like that. You send it into the lawyer, the lawyer sent it back, you get it notarized. Well, you can go get a free notary by going over to the library or maybe going to the city hall or somewhere and having a notary uh, sign it. We have notaries here, but what I'm saying, this is not a sales thing. This is me just telling you how important a will is and why your will and your last, um, t uh, um, last testament is very important to you. A lot of people also don't realize that you can take videos now with your phone and you don't need a lawyer to actually go over any, you know, you don't need a lawyer to videotape you anymore. You can actually use your phone and then you can put that into your will to go look at your phone. So it's you talking to on your will. Okay. Like to me, one of the biggest things is I, I'll get my phone like this and I've got my nine-year-old daughter, Gracie, and I'll, and I will, and I usually give demonstrations about this when I go talk to people about their will and their last Testament. So you turn on your phone, you say, today is July 18th, 2017. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. Um, I am leaving this for my daughter, Gracie Ann, and for anybody else in case you want to do it. And you look at it and you basically like, I just want you to know if anything were to happen to me, I want you to know I love you with my entire heart. You're my little girl and there's nothing I would not do for you. However, for some reason, if you're seeing this, that means I'm either in a coma, I'm unable to take care of myself right now, or I have passed on and now I'm going to watch over you from heaven. But I want you to know I love you with my entire heart. I want you to know I'm proud of you. I want you to know you're the most important thing to me in my entire life. I want you to take care of your mommy and your sister. I want you to take care of your grandpas. I want you to be there for everybody. It doesn't matter how I felt about people. I want you to know to always love and trust people. And if they take advantage of you, go to somebody else. Okay? Never be taken advantage of. Okay? Just know that you're a good little girl and I love you with my entire heart. And that no matter what happens to me, I'm always going to watch over you. I'm always going to be there for you. Make sure to pray to God. Make sure that you say your prayers every night. Make sure you brush your teeth every day. Make sure that when you go to school, you get your homework done. But always live your dreams. Always go after those dreams you want to go after. I love you very much. I'm your daddy, and I've always been proud of you, and I always will be. And I'm going to be looking over you now. Love, Daddy. See, you can leave a will like that, okay? You can leave something to your kids. Leave something to your father. Now, on the will, it's going to ask you what your assets are. It's going to ask you, you know, different questions and everything else. You have to fill it out. You send it over to your attorney. They type it all up. They send it back to you. You have it notarized, and they put it away in a secure place, okay? Now, a will's not that hard to do, especially if you get it through somebody like me. You know, I can do it for less than $5 a week. You know, if you guys want me to. The military, they'll do it for you for free. You fill it out. You send it in the JAG. They will type it all up or you get it notarized there at your unit. Truck drivers, you know, maybe, you know, all you have to do is find a person like me to get your will done. Now, you can go into a lawyer. A lawyer will write up your will. Any lawyer anywhere will do a will for you. Now, they're going to cost a little bit, but at least you got your will done. Okay, if you don't have the money, then you get a hold of somebody like me that can get it all up and going for you. Leave a will on your phone, whatever you have to do. But a will and healthcare power of attorney is very, very important. If you want me to help you out with your will, give me a call at 217-316-0219. And I will do it for about $1895, $1995 a month. And guess what? It's good for your entire life. And as if you stay with our company, we'll update it every year for you. If you need your wills updated, we'll update them for you. But this is not me trying to say, I'm just telling you the, the impact and how important a will and a healthcare power of attorney is. Now, what if you want to leave a trust for your children? How do you do that? These are important to me because I see so many people that don't have it done, yet there's accidents every single day. Turn on the news right now. I bet you at least, okay, how about this one? Nine people just died due to a flash flood, okay, that happened in a canyon. Nine people, everywhere from two years old all the way up, and it's an entire family. They weren't expecting a flash flood to kill them. 
now they're going to be in heaven with God right now. And 